Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase and a good one at that. All 15 2022 Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunts are in front of me, and we're going to open up every single one. I'm excited to do that. I've been waiting to do this all year. Mattel has sent me all of them. Uh, for two reasons. One is to showcase them for you. I've been showcasing them as we go. There's still two cases to open, P and Q. I'll have the open supers at that point. Uh, but most of the time, I've shown them carded throughout the year. I've actually been lucky to find a couple. I'll mention those that I've actually found in store. And uh, I've pulled a couple from uh, case unboxings as well. But I, they gave me these, uh, these supers so I can showcase them for you. And also to have them at the end of the year so we can do Lamley Awards. You guys look forward to it. I look forward to it. We vote for the best and worst in all kinds of categories. And the Super Treasure Hunt category is always one of the most popular. But we're going to do that then. Uh, the Lamley Awards are about a month or so away. We've got to get through a few other things before we start. But ultimately, um, I wanted to showcase these now. So you don't have to pick a favorite right now. If you want to, you can. It's a little precursor for the Lamley Awards. But one thing that I think is interesting is I have heard some people say, as I've showed these in the past, that, oh, this isn't a great year of supers. I don't know where that's coming from. I've, you know, not everybody says that, but I've heard it a few times. And, oh, it's so much worse than 2022 or than 2021. So let's do this. I've got all the 2021 Supers right over here. And when I open the AK Super, we're going to compare it to the AK and so on. We're going to see which year is better. That might be kind of fun. Obviously, it's subjective. It's totally our opinion. But let's see which of which open, ends up ahead. And we'll just go with completely unscientific, but kind of fun. Good, good, uh, good showcase for now. Let's get to it. This is the AK Super. It is the 55 Chevy. Man, it seems like years ago that this came out right and i've been sitting on this one for a while when mattel sends them to me i ask that they send over any beat up cards because they you know they have all these uh over at their at the design center so it's kind of nice to to open these up all right 55 chevy kind of cool i'll put the uh basics in the background so you can kind of see them as well there's that save the card here is the car very cool um I don't need to spend a lot of time describing them. We can just put them on the turntable for a few seconds because we've all seen these, right? These are nothing new. But it's always fun to see how they've enhanced these uh, compared to the basic. You know, you get the uh, real riders here, which look really good. The five-spoke real riders. Blue color is fantastic. It is great. We're going to put it right here. We're going to try and stay these in order, keep these in order. What's the What was the A case from 2021? Ooh, 300ZX. One of those, what do we call them? Clean supers, simple supers. I always use the word plain, which is not the right word because plain uh, kind of has this, has this, uh, sounds like plain means boring. No, it's these deco lists where they just have the headlights, taillights, that sort of thing. Realistic, and this is great. So we'll put these together. What do you say? 300ZX to the 55 Chevy. I'm going to go with the 300ZX. So actually, here's what we'll do. We'll park these like this, and I'll just move ahead the one that I think wins. All right, let's go to the B case. Going in order here. 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. Nice to see this return to the basic range. There's the art. Let's just get this open. Done with the card. Oh, it's nice to see these. I actually pulled this one from a GameStop case. I think it was GameStop, um, which was kind of cool. I didn't find the A case like this one because I really like the casting. I think the car is super cool. And I think the deco on this in gold is really nice too. Uh, yellow was the basic, right? But this gold, any gold super wins. Uh, well, wins, you know what I mean? I like, I should say. We've got another one coming. I probably know which one I'm talking about. But this one is very cool as the BK super. Uh, what was the BK last year? Corvette. Roadster, right? I can't remember what this is officially called. Uh, doesn't even say on the base, uh, but a nice, a nice color, nice wheels on that one. Put these together, BMW or Corvette. I'm going BMW. So we're at a tie right now. All right. C case. C case super is the Dodge van, also known as the Dajiban, uh, the Japanese drift van designed by Ryo Asada. Really like this one. Uh, let's open it up.
Regular was in purple. This one, it gets a Spectre Flame purple, which looks really cool. Love the sport, four spoke chrome rims on this one. Deco is right on on it as well. I think this is a fantastic super. I did find this one in store in a Kroger shipper. I actually found the Corvette um, Chase, the uh, first mix, you know, the car culture Chase model, and this all in the same shipper. I think I did a, a reels on that one. All right, that goes there. What was the C case? It was this Roger Dodger. I thought that was a nice super treasure hunt, but um, I'll put it on the turntable for like four seconds and just put it next to it. And 2022 veers ahead. I mean, I don't think that one's a real hard one. I don't think many of you are going to disagree with me on that. All right, that's ABC. Here is the DK Super. It is the Studa Baker Champ. Loved seeing this casting get the super treasure hunt uh, treatment. I've always thought this was kind of an underrated casting. Really, one of the underrated underrated truck castings as well. It's just really cool. Um, this one gets the racing deco. Love the rims on this one. It was one that I think a lot of people might have missed. Most people don't. We know what to look for, but it looked a lot like the basic. Um, never found this one. Never pulled it. So this is one of those elusive, like the uh, 55 Chevy that I never saw in the wild, so to speak. All right, what is its comparison? Another gunmetal super, it is the RX-7. Another quote-unquote plain super. Second of, how many did we get last year? I think we got three of them. And they were all really cool. And this one is cool. I love the Studebaker Champ, but yeah. Yeah, the RX-7 wins that. All right, we're back to a tie. Speaking of plain supers, EK Super was the 2020 Corvette. This one gets the plain super deca or super treatment. Just a small little TH. There's the art. This model, well, let's just show. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like this one. Dark Spectre Flame Blue, five spoke rims, which look really nice on this one. This one debuted in ID and then moved to basic. Would prefer that it didn't have the big rims in the back, but that's okay. It actually looks really good as a super treasure hunt basic was nice this is a this was quite the upgrade even just without any additional deco um never oh i pulled this from a case didn't i i did pull this one from an unboxing case so there we go and what is its counterpart from 2021 oh vet versus vet c8 versus the knn drift i actually found two of these at a safeway over thanksgiving that was a crazy one um k n is nice. I'm kind of a sucker for plain supers, though. So I'm going C8 on this one. I think I like the casting better on the convertible, but... Um, man, so what are we at? 21, 22, 22, 21, 22. We're running neck in neck. All right. This one, I think, will be a contender for Super of the Year. There's a lot that I, that will. This is the fantastic 99 Honda Civic Type R, the EK9. Definitely one of the the significant Rio Asada tribute models this year, this Super Treasure Hunt. Uh, you get Rio on the uh, back license plate along with TH. And this is a plain Super 2. Uh, its counterpart was plain yellow. Let's open this one. You can, I gotta, It feels significant to open this one because it's such a popular super it's such an important super uh, nice to see it looking good in gold yellow with the black rims was cool this gold with the red interior and these kind of bronze color or what would you call that the color of the wheels i really like this one and i did find this one in the wild some people contend that i some contend that i staged it because i found it with uh, matchbox uh, bronco chases as well Boy, I'm I'm not that I'm not that clever to actually. I'd have to walk in with an entire case because if you look at the video when I found it, it was actually the Monday after the Matchbox Gathering, Moab, Utah, Dollar Tree, is where I found it. I was shocked to find it. Really happy to find this one in the wild. Um, that is the Honda Civic. Its counterpart was voted, I think, as the worst Super last year. So I don't think this one's going to be any competition. It's the RX3. People didn't like the colors on this one. It looked exactly like the basic. Um, I get it. I don't hate it as much as others do, but um, actually, I'm not real keen on it either. This one's real easy. So the 2022 is pulling ahead, but I still got a long way to go. All right. 
Volkswagen Kafer Racer. That is the G Case Super. Dig the wheels. Let's open it up. Oh, this one's already halfway there. Look at that. That's convenient. K4 Racer is a cool casting. We've seen it in premium. We've seen it as a Toy Fair model. Mark Jones designed it, hence the Mark Jones on the rear spoiler. Very unique casting and looks great. Any red Super Treasure Hunt always looks good. And the, the combination with the base and the wheels is fantastic. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's a great Super. What was its counterpart? I love gold Supers. I love that Kafer racer. The Mustang from last year is nice with the black rims. One of those yellows converted to gold like the Civic. So what, boy, where do we go with those two? That's a tough one. I really like the Mustang, but I think all in all, the Kafer racer is the better looking super treasure hunt. So 2022 is still ahead. Yeah, obviously these are my opinions, but you can see in your counting. All right. Plain Super, this is our third one, right? Corvette, Civic, and now the 2020 Jag F-Type. First Super, I think, with the 10-spoke rims, which I really like. There's the artwork. Let's get this thing opened. Oh, by the way, the k Racer, talking about what I've... I actually found two of those on the same day at two different Dollar Trees. That was a shocker. Um, rural, of course, two different towns, neighboring towns. And both of them hanging on the pegs. That was awesome. I document those. Whenever I see, whenever I find those, obviously I'm going to put a little reels up um, on Instagram or TikTok or even the short here on YouTube. So they're out there so you can see them. All right, here's the Jag. Nice. Didn't find this one in a, bot, in a case. Didn't find it on the pegs. Um, love plain supers and really like this one. Some people might think it's a little drab. I get it, but I like the gunmetal. Kind of compares to the RX-7 from last year. I don't like it. I like it. All right, put this right here. What case was that? That was the uh, H case. You guys remember the H case last year? This one was a popular one, right? Datsun 510. Nice to see it as a super treasure hunt, one of the most sought after. It didn't win. It, it actually finished second in the best super to the next one in 2021. But I think this is probably the most desired super. It probably has the highest retail, like secondary retail value. Um, I think. Love the Jag, but I uh, have to go with the Datsun. Some people might disagree, but I think the Datsun, as a super treasure hunt, I just think it just was really sharp. I love the colors and the wheel combination. All right. J Case Super. Custom 18, 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Drift style with the, with the uh, adjustable front spoiler. Uh, awesome, awesome. I like Super Treasure. I just like what they do with them. I don't, you know. There you go. Let's take a look at it. Put it with the flattened out spoiler on it. Red, red Supers always look good. The deco on this one doesn't do much for me. The drift style is okay. Um, actually, it looks pretty good, actually. Um... All right, I was mentioning I like Super Treasure. I just like looking at Super Treasure, but I think finding Super Treasure is the way to go. The counterpart, the, the 2021 counterpart on this one, I think we know who's going to win. This was voted Best Super of the Year in 2021. Golf, we're all suckers for golf, at least Super Treasure and golfs, because the GT40 from last or from that yeah, was the year before that won Best Super. This Porsche won Best Super. There's a golf this year. We'll see how it does. Um, yeah, we're going to put the Porsche ahead of Porsche ahead of the Mustang. All right. Let's go to the K case super treasure hunt. This one was out. This one was a very popular one. Uh, still people looking for it. Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX, the Hokoska Skyline. JDML, JDM Legends. They are local Utah folks. Who they, uh, they restore and uh, modify classic Japanese cars. And it's one of the coolest places to go. I need to, there's a video I need to do there. Uh, one of these days I'll do it. All right, let's open it up. Card is done. Model is here. Just love the wheels on this one. That kind of greenish, dark chrome color is fantastic as well. Very simple treasure. And I actually like the stripes on it too. I don't think they detract. Put the tail lights on it. GTR badging in the back looks really cool. This is a great model. 
This is a great model and its counterpart, oh boy. Now this is a heavyweight. Wow, this is a heavyweight. I kind of didn't really look how these are going to be paired, but the HKS Honda Civic Type R from last year was, I think I voted this as my favorite super last year. I don't know. In terms of super treasure hunts, I have to go with the Civic. It just, the HKS Deco, I just, it's so legendary. Boy, I wish it was a different super to go up against because I hate turning my back on my JDM Legends friends. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Eric. Sorry, 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 but I have to go with the HKS Civic. All right, LK Super. Lamborghini Mira SV, another, like the Corvette, came from Hot Wheels ID. This one in the burnt orange color. Oh, I haven't even talked about any of these other finds. Let's see. Jag I never found. Mustang I actually pulled from a case. Uh, JDM Legends I never found. The Hokoska. All right. Lamborghini I also didn't find. Mattel sent this one over. Looks good with the chrome rims. Must uh, The casting... It's classic Hot Wheels, right? I don't think the Mira needs to have big wheels in the back at all, and so I'm a little, I'm a little sour on not sour. It's the wrong word. I just, it's not my favorite, especially compared with the Matchbox, which I think is really nice. But the Super is nice, plain Super. We got another plain Super, right? Um, so how many is that? Uh, four this year. It looks good in the burnt orange. Its counterpart, yeah. Why couldn't this uh, Cougar? go against the uh, the Lamborghini. That's a tough one, too. Because they're kind of both medium-level supers. I tend to go with the planes. I like the planes better. But I think this super... Uh, both have chrome rims. This one is a total toss-up. And I think because I really like plain supers, I'm going to go with the Lamborghini. But that one's tough. I could I could argue both ways. All right. I like supers that pop. This one definitely pops. 84 Mustang SVO in purple. Uh, this one I actually did pull from a case just recently, right? Did the uh, unboxing. The A&J Toys sent over the uh, international case, and this was in there. Kind of shocked me. This is nice. Chrome rims with the Spectre Flame purple is just a beautiful combination. Uh, casting is decent. Junamai designed this one. It's it's one of those that's probably a little too big now, but um, still popular. And I've got a few of these in the collection. RLC, everything else. It's a cool car. It is a cool car. And its counterpart. Ooh. I really like the R8 Spider. This is the first one to sport the five spokes, I think. The new five spokes, which I think the modern, like low profile modern wheels and this super treasure hunt i you know another plain super treasure hunt i thought was super clean and i love that they did the chrome rims on it so i am going with the audi on that one have to go with the audi boy this is getting tough all right speaking of audi we are now on the nk super this is what's being found in stores now 94 audi avant rs2 i have professed my love for this casting a rio asada design I've mentioned that this car is one that uh, I fell in love with when I saw it, in, saw it in Brazil, when I lived in Brazil in the mid-90s, and I just thought it was so cool and wish they had them here. Um, and uh, Rio finally designed it and put it together, and it's really nice. I love the first two colors, and I really like this one, and I think it's coming to premium. Um, basic on this one is cool. The Super, I love the you know plain Super again. Um, taillights, headlights, looks really clean with the R-Style Real Riders. Yeah, I love this one. Love it. It'll be up there as one of my favorites this year. It just will. And um, plain supers now, right? Audi, so one, two. Lamborghini is two. Jag is three. Honda's four. And the Corvette is five. Wow, we're five uh, plain supers this year. All right. What's its counterpart? A really nice super. Casting's cool. The Spectre Flame Purple is beautiful. The rims are fantastic, and uh, I would see a lot of people, just in terms of like pure super treasure huntness of it, would pick this truck. What truck is it? F1, 1940 Ford F1, but I have to go with the Audi. That's purely a personal choice on that one. All right. P-Case. 
Here we go, another Golf. Golf has been sweeping the, the Super Treasure Hunt Awards, and we'll see if it does this year. 32 Ford. Looks really good. But Supers and Golf livery always do. These are, I don't have a story for these, uh, the Audi and the, the Final 3, because they barely hit the store, so I haven't pulled any from any cases, and, uh, you know, obviously the Q case we haven't even seen yet. P case, no, yet. Uh, anyway. Uh, there we go. This one looks really nice. Golf is Golf. I like that they put the Golf logo on the front. Um, on the intake there up top. That looks cool. Rims are cool. Kind of fit 32 Ford. Kind of the classic real riders. I think that one is very nice. It goes up against the gasser. The gasser wagon, which needed to be a super. I always thought this was a bland deco. The blue doesn't pop as much. Nice super treasure hunt, but, uh, Golf has to win on this one. Whoop. All right, one more. I haven't seen the Q case, so I don't know everything that's in it, but this is the 81 Camaro. I really like this casting. Nice to see it get the Super Treasure Hunt. Uh, don't have the basic to put with it. I just have this one. Um, but I'm here. I wanted to do this kind of in advance of, this, of the Lamley Award, so we're just going to open it up already. There is the artwork. Here is the model. It is the Q case, super treasure hunt. Really like the green. So this is my first time really looking at this. This casting has not gotten enough attention. I think it's really nice. So it's nice to see it as a super treasure hunt because I think it's really cool. I like these eras of Camaros. Um, those early to mid seventies Camaros, I think are really nice. They're kind of my favorites, but you guys know, I mean this, we've seen this Camaro as like a funny car and everything else. I like it. I like the racing deco on it. I like the real riders. I think they could have gone a little wider in the back. That's okay. The color's fantastic. The rims are fantastic. I really like this one. We'll go ahead and put it right here. I think that's a really nice super. And it goes up against a classic as well, the Shelby Cobra. Whoo! This was a nice super. Shelby Cobra is a popular model. And I really like the clean way they did it. Boy, what's the best super here? I like the Camaro better, but as a super treasure hunt, boy, that's a tough one. I'm going with the Camaro. I have not done the math, so it's not like I'm trying to be dramatic here, but I'm going to go with the Camaro. So who wins? Um, let's start with 21. 21 gets one, two, three, four, five, Six. They get six. And obviously that means that uh, 2022 has nine. So based on this really poor way of comparing just each mix to each mix, 2022 wins. Now, when you look at them and like you, you try and go like the top five from each with the Datsun 510, the Golf Porsche, the HKS Civic, the Audi R8, those amazing two early ones, the... Um, 300 ZX and the RX-7, I think their top five might beat the 2022 top five, which I would probably say is the Audi RS2, this Honda Civic, um, the BMW, and the, uh, the Skyline. So if you do it from the top models, you might say that 2021 wins. So it really depends on how you compare. I think my point, they're both pretty decent years of Supers. I don't have a lot of complaints here. All licensed, right? In 2022. Roger Dodger was the only one that wasn't from last year. I think we're doing pretty good. You guys tell me what you think. That was a nice long weekend style video. That was fun to do. They are all here. Thanks everybody. Bye.